Hey, 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 welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. That time of the season again, uh, another MTB's Elite Tackle Box. Um, just came in the mail today, so I figured let's surprise ourselves and open it up. Uh, again, this just came about five minutes ago, so I'm jumping on opening up this month, uh, June of 2019's uh, Elite Edition Mystery Tackle Box, which is really cool. They changed the patterns on their boxes. Uh, they had done this previously to the Pro Boxes. They're black with a lot of this doodle uh, chalkboard style uh, drawings on it. Now I guess the Elite's got this sort of green, evergreen box with the same kind of doodles on it. So that's kind of cool. A little change of pace. Better than the old bland gray boxes. Um, so if you don't know, this is Foul Mouth Fishing. Uh, I do these unboxings. I'm going to start doing a lot more outdoor uh, videos. But I do... Um, unboxings and, and related videos to the baits that are in these boxes. Uh, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly subscription box that you uh, get in the mail. They send you a variety of baits from different bait companies including their own house brand uh, in an effort to allow anglers who might not have access to a traditional local tackle shop or want to step outside their comfort zone and try different styles of fishing and different uh, types of baits. Uh, you can get these boxes in three different levels, uh, trim levels, a standard pro and elite. Elite's the top of the line, or at least the top tier for them. And you can get this in a variety of, of fishing styles that you want to go for, either inshore fishermen, saltwater, uh, pan fishing. I go for the bass fishing because I primarily am a bass fisherman. Uh, although these baits can go for a variety of species, they don't have to just catch bash on, bath, bleh, bass on these. You can certainly catch... Uh, panfish and and trout. I've caught trout and, and other things on these uh, on these baits. So without further ado, today's box is not held together by a rubber band. It is securely taped from stern to uh, to port. So here we go. Still got the same scale on the inside. Um, you can enter their social media platforms. Uh, you take a photograph with your catch based on what they're looking for in their monthly, uh, uh, you know, targets. They got a six-inch panfish, 12-inch trout, 14-inch bass, a 16-inch walleye, or an 18-inch for any any other species of uh, fish you want to catch. Uh, you send it into their shop uh, to their um, mysterytacklebox.com/keeper, and uh, you can win prizes, discounts, things like that. Um, this ah, uh, I, I'm going to talk about this box. This is good. Uh, every box comes with one of two things. We get a Dibbles Digest. It's a hints, tips, and techniques, tricks, and, and what have you, little pamphlet. Uh, often less pressured, uh, three key spots uh, for fishing. Uh, reading Shade, Catch More Bass. So that's uh, basically little, little hints on how to fish uh, for cover. Reading where the shade line is, knowing that bass don't have eyelids. So bright sunny days, you don't want to fish right center open water, the fish can't look up and, and see your bait. Uh, if you're going to fish those kinds of areas, I would fish worms, down deep, Texas rig, Carolina rig, uh, stuff like that, or flip into areas where the trees are overhanging, the grass line overhangs, and it creates a shadow line in the water, which those, those fish will duck under to stay a little cooler and so that they can see out and target their prey fish. So that's a, a good little tip and technique pamphlet, you have a little word search on the back. You get a monthly sticker, most of these box companies do these. Um, MTB has a nice one, we got, uh, looks like a pseudo skinny Carl Van Dibble looking to, to eat a, a Jersey hoagie. <laughs> and the fish up there fishing for the fishermen. So we got that. Last uh, last time it was the fish in the boat, this time the fish is still in the boat, but it, uh, he's, he's fishing for the fishermen. So. That's, that's a cool little sticker. Um, you get a what's in the box card on the back. There's an additions. You can add things to your next box and save on the shipping cost by just adding it to the, uh, to the box you're already going to get mailed to you at the beginning of the month. And this month I have two, four, six, seven, seven baits in my, or seven items in my bait selection for this month. So that's pretty good. Uh, I see some large ticket priced items. Uh, I'm going to talk about this right off the bat and get the big elephant out of the room. At ICAST, um, the Guggen Squad had a booth in conjunction with MTB. 
and they did a little meet and greet, and a lot of people got to you know shake hands with uh, with Lunker or with with the different Guggen Squad members. One of them being a guy that I have a lot of respect for, uh, and all his health concerns aside, but um, that was Lake Fork guy. And Lake Fork guy in their promotion uh, at this event talked about Guggen Bates line, their fishing line that was coming out, and they were going to release it that every MTB elite package member, specifically the elite uh, series, would be receiving in their boxes a a box of their of their line, be it their monofilament, their uh, their braid selection, or their floral selection. Um, aside of that, now there were a lot of people that said well, it was, it was promoted that it was going to start at a certain month, be it, um, I believe it was February or March. Um, but when those boxes came through, when my March box, my April box, my May box came, no, no line, no line, no line, no Guggen Squad line at all. A lot of people said, you promised that April's box would have a line, where is it? Well, he never specifically said April. What he said was, I believe, I'm going to use April as an example, so don't quote me on this. You can go back to his, to the MTB's video. Uh, but he said, like, in April, start looking out for the boxes having the line in it. Now, aside from that, the first item in this box, because it's the highest ticket, is the Guggen Squad's line. In this case, um, in collaboration with Catchco, uh, this is the fluorocarbon. I got a 15 pounds, 200 yards, so it's a full package, uh, 200 yards of 15 pound Guggen Squad brand fluoro. Um, what puts me off a little bit about this is last uh, a few boxes back I got a small package of uh, braid uh, by a different brand and that was a small little teaser I think it was like a hundred yards and I thought that was awesome I would have expected them to be sending out a little 100 150 yards small spool no charge not even listed in the in the card it should have been a sub like a sec secondary gift it should not have equated to the, the box price. They're adding it to my quote-unquote box value, and I'm kind of a little bit miffed about that. Uh, but that being said, they're charging $21.99 is what they say that they're going to sell these on the Shop Carl's website. Um, it's obviously it's in, col in collaboration with uh, Catchco, which is the Shop Carl's MTB, one of their in-house brand uh, titles. So... You got that. 15 pound fluorocarbon. It is a 0.013 inch or 0.340 millimeter, which is why I look at a uh, diameter line. So a 0.34 diameter line should be, it's a little thick. Um, it's going to resist a little bit of casting distance. Uh, you're going to have to play with it and probably shoot slightly heavier baits uh, to get it to go through the guides for, for maximum distance um, because it's a relatively large millimeter size. But it is fluorocarbon, so that extra little bit. Uh, being a, a 0.34 as opposed to like a 0 0.29, 0 0.27 fluoro, uh, it's definitely going to be more abrasion resistant, uh, having that extra extra body to it. So that's a good thing. This is a clear color, which I do appreciate because fluoro carbon should always be clear. If nothing else, at 15 pounds, I will run this um, braid to fluoro leader. I will use an FG knot. That is something to definitely look into mastering your skills at, uh, at making FG knots. Um, they are vital for anybody who throws bait casters, um, who wants to run a leader, have a main line, be it braid, and then a, a leader line of fluoro or mono, or even a lower grade or lower uh, breaking strength braid. Um, it's definitely, definitely a plus. I want to say it's a pretty, pretty stout. I like the quality of this. So crystal clear. I'm not a big fan of Guggen's. I'll be first and foremost to say I'm, I don't promote the Guggen Squad stuff, um, but it's it was supposed to be a freebie to try to have a little dangle, give it a little sniff, see how it works. I would have liked to have seen them, you know, not necessarily run the full packages. They could have done an off run of slightly smaller spools and just thrown them in every single box in the in the elite thing, not adding it to the bait card. But they got in in here listed as part of the value. Uh, Twenty one ninety nine again. Second down, Strike Pro, uh, Strike Pro Jumper 110 SP. Uh, that's this guy right here. She's a jerk bait. Uh, the color they got for this is uh, Pro Blue. It's suspending. It's a 
five sixteenths inch or four to five four and five sixteenths inch. It's a nine point one six ounces or nine sixteenths. Um, now they say that this has got tungsten in it. Now I originally thought that this suspended tungsten for ultimate casting. I thought they were going to try to do some sort of magnetic, um, you know, casting system where they'd have a tube weight in the center, a magnet on either end, on your on your back hand, the, the weight would cast down to the tail, hold to the magnet, you'd cast it out, and then on your, when it settled down, the magnet would break free and the weight would settle to the nose and give you that tail up presentation as you're running it down, um, down the water. But tungsten's not a magnetic material. So the value of tungsten in this is that, I guess it's a, it's, the tungsten weights are gonna stay at the nose, and then they've got, well, even the BBs inside, it does have BBs in there, so it's got some sort of rattle to it, but they're, they're locked in position as well. So I don't know what the, again, it falls into my, my category of a little bit of a, uh, you know, using terms, tungsten. Oh, everybody likes tungsten weights, so let's throw the word tungsten into our baits and use it as a selling point when it really has zero value overall. Uh, to whether or not the bait performs any differently, at least in the aspect of, of I don't, you know, okay, so there is movement in the BBs. Yeah, so you got a few BBs in there that, that rattle down a chamber. It's got sort of an S chamber um, that allows the BBs to slide up to the end. So I guess they're just tungsten ball bearings as opposed to steel or, or brass or stainless ball bearings, so... But again, to me, you're just putting ball bearings. It's not throwing the word tungsten in there is just a gimmick. Um, Strike Pro is a good quality brand. Uh, I always pretty much change out their, their hooks. They're sticky nonetheless, but uh, you know I change out for a little bit better, better hook with a better gap, uh, a little wider gap and a longer shank. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. Um, they got this, the, uh, the Strike Pro 110 SP, the jumper. In that blue pattern, uh, they've got that at $12.99. Next up, Optimum's Boom Boom Line Through Swim Bait. So you got a line through swim bait. I'm going to leave on the end of this video uh, a, the, the link to, uh, or the, the, the click to my line through how to turn any swim bait, any soft plastic that you have, into a line through. Uh, swim bait very easily and very inexpensively. Um, for example, they sell this or they market this at nine dollars even. So I have in the past, as your, uh, they give you a nice, pretty nice stout treble hook. Not bad at all. Decent treble hook. Pretty good gap. I like to see that I can put my index finger th through and and almost get hung up. You know, shave the little uh, little fingernail off. That tells me that's a, a pretty good thing for smallies. Uh, large mouth, I'd like to get a little larger uh, gap just to get better hook penetration and higher hook penetration in the lip. Uh, they've got a, it's a, a, like a silver fleck or silver flake on the on the inside. It's a clear. Eyes are uh, 3D style eyes. Pretty good. It's got a very blunt front end. Um, cup top, and you can see that line through steel tube they have to run your line down through and tie your, your treble up so you have your line through uh, bait like that. Key to these line through baits, it allows the bait to break free of the treble hook, which saves the bait uh, and, and makes hookups a little bit better uh, because this will break free, slide up the line, you got your hook, and you're fighting the fish without where you're getting this torn up. Uh, again, they want $9 for this. I will leave. Uh, I will leave a way to, uh, to click on my video on how to make very inexpensive line through of any particular swim bait that you like. So you don't have to use their design and their, their shape. You can use something that you're very comfortable with and confident with and, uh, and turn that into a line through with things as simple as a straw. Uh, my, pre uh, my preferred straw is the, uh, the air, the canned air straws and, uh, and just easily easily uh, throw it through plus in my way you can you can counterweight your line throughs in whatever way that sees fit for whatever depth you want to run them at and balance them out if you have issues where they don't want to float a certain way you can adjust that 
on your own very simply, very easily. Um, Carl's Amazing Baits Golden Boy. Now this is an in-house uh, bait they produce, so it's pretty much no charge to them. Uh, they're just giving you something, trying to convince you to spend more money in their store. But they do have some good quality stuff. This is a, uh, a light orange, golden colored crawfish paint scheme. They're calling this one, let's see if it's got a color on it, of course it does. Uh, golden Boy, two and a quarter inch, third ounce, they call this the Burnt Craw. Again, it's a, uh, you got yourself your coffee color kind of top, like a, an, an amber backing, and then it transitions down to sort of like an orange and then a, an off yellow uh, bottom. It would have been nice if they had a little chartreuse on the, on the, on the tip or a chartreuse belly, but it's pretty good. Typical square bill, slightly cupped, thin style, almost like the computer chip, a little bit, a little bit more sturdier than the standard computer chip uh, square bills. Uh, has a rattle, very blunt like a one knocker. Uh, very sticky, sharp hooks. So that's a good quality thing. And again, uh, they're they're charging the Golden Boy six dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, obviously, you can get this anywhere, so you don't have to spend six dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm sure you can go Tackle Warehouse or you can go to Dick's or, or any of the other stores and pick up a good quality uh, square bill in a in a orange crawfish pattern, uh, with or without rattles, for you know two dollars, three dollars. Um, next is the Lifted Jigs Flipping Jig. Um, Lifted Jigs, not a company that I'm aware of. Uh, I have never fished with them, but I, I, I assume they're probably pretty good. Uh, this is a three ounce, a three eighths ounce flipping jig with a peanut butter and jelly pattern, PB and J, which is a good color combo. Get you out of here. I will say the head on this doesn't really remind me of a flipping jig. It's more of a keeled, keeled head, which I would probably use fishing like a swim jig rather than flipping it into pads uh, but nevertheless so you've got very good brush guard always always appreciate a good brush guard again there's that keeled conical head that I consider more of a swim jig than a flipping jig but the key is you've got where the, the hook tie is it's not a, uh, a 90 degree hook tie so yeah I I still think this is more of a swim jig, like right out the bat. I guess because they angle it up a little bit more, they're calling it a flipping jig. Good stout hook. Quality is not bent. Well, be careful of it bending out. You can see I'm not putting much pressure, and that tip's kind of tipping up. But you got that PB and J purple, brown, orange, and amber kind of uh, peanut butter and jelly color. So you got all that going for you. So that's good. They they uh, they have this one in their. Retail at four dollars and ninety-nine cents. So there's that little, little fishing swim jig, flipping jig, whatever they want to call it. Next up, I have the Z-Man Alaztex in Twilight. This is what they call their trick shot. So this is more of a finesse worm fluke, like a paddle tail, little tiny finessey deal. Again, it's that, that elastic material that stretches for days and days and days. Um, it's got a little beaver, si beaver style tail instead of the typical uh, forked fluke tail, but it's still got that fluke style body profile. So that'll be interesting. This is definitely something I drop shot, uh, you know, twitch along the, the bottom on a drop shot. I'm sure that that's definitely got a lot of action. Even just holding it and running it back and forth between my fingers, I can see the, the tail wants to paddle around, so that's quite good. Probably in current, because it's got a larger profile tail and it's a solid mass, and a little bit of current on a creek or a stream, this is definitely going to twitch and, and, and maneuver and be enticing to fish, as opposed to the smaller little tiny hairs that give a little less or more subtle action uh, from your typical fluke baits. So that's a good thing, and I always I always appreciate Z-Man stuff. I've got an entire Plano full of nothing but Z-Mans. Um, always keep your Z-Man products uh, with the Elaztec separate 
from any other worms or any other soft plastics because the softeners that they use will melt all your other plastics and cause a big mess and then you're just throwing away uh, plastics. They got this for $4.49. So the Z-Man Trick Shots, again these are three and a half inch size, full six pack, and they got it for $4.49. And last in my box this month is a series of, again, Carl's Amazing Baits from the Carl Stash Green Pumpkin 5 pack of 3 8 ounce, they're pretty stout, uh, bullet weights. Uh, Carl Stash bullet weights, and they are $3.49 for the 5 pack, which that's pretty darn good. And you can always, always, always do with some more, some more weights, especially if you're Carolina rigging, Texas rigging. Um, so there you got some, some decent bullet bullet weights, typical standard, cupped inside. So you can run this with some plastic beads um, or glass beads. I don't think these are tungsten. If these were tungsten, then I'd worry uh, because tungsten and glass it'll just blow the glass up every time. If they're your standard steel or lead, you can kind you can get away with uh, cert certainly lead, but steel you can certainly get away with uh, glass. Brass you can get away with black with glass beads. I like to run a little tiny plastic washer against the glass so I'd have basically the weight, a little plastic washer, and then the glass bead when it comes to things like steel or brass because they too can, can explode the, uh, the glass beads. But that little buffer in there causes the water to kind of collect there and it buffers it and it slows it down. It still clacks, but it doesn't cause as much pressure on the, on the glass bead. It's just a little bit of cushion there to protect the bead. Um, that said, again, $349 for this. So, all in all, we got ourselves a line through bait, which is a rarity in, in, in boxes that I've seen. Uh, so, that's a soft plastic. We've gotten our little Z Man soft plastics. We've gotten two hard baits uh, in the form of the Amazing Carl's Amazing Golden Boy and the, the uh, Strike Pro. And we got ourselves a jig head and some line. So, terminal tackle line and and our weights a little jig head uh, which you can put any any uh, you know soft plastic you want and I'm assuming with this with the PB and J color they have on this jig head they want me to try the uh, the make the car the, um, the Z-man purple and pink thing on it so I might give that a whirl when I go out to the, uh, the lake tomorrow so we'll see but uh, all that said again the only the only kind of uh, catty thing I have to say is I really wish this was not included as part of the box. It should have been, you know, even if you threw in a package of hooks on it, you know, in, in this box or, or one other bait and then just had somewhere on here, you know, our special, you know, thank you for, for supplying, you know, for, for providing that you're part of this elite class of boxes that they give you the, the line for free. And again, I wouldn't have expected a full 200 yards. I would expect something like 100 or or 75 yards, um, especially in floral where you can just use it as a leader line anyway, just to give you the, the ability to put it in your hands and see how it acts and how it reacts. But I guess they want you to spool your whole uh, spinning reel up with it or, or what have you. We'll see. Uh, I hope this has been a little bit informative. I, I kind of rushed through this because I got dinner waiting. Um, I appreciate it. But this just came in the mail, knock on the door, and ran to hook you up. So, uh, all in all, pretty good box. Um, again, like I said, seven seven items. Um, so that's not bad at all. Uh, I hope uh, this was informative. If you like this, please give a thumbs up to the video. Uh, stay tuned for, for follow-up videos. Uh, I've got some stuff that i got to put up and post uh, for, for things that I've done out on the lake. I haven't really had the opportunity to get out as much as I want to, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm making a concerted effort to put more time out on the water. Uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm definitely going to be going out. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and share this video. In July, uh, which is my birthday month, I will be giving away a big box of baits and things. So, pay attention. In July, there's going to be a video, and you're going to have to do some simple tasks. And if you do those tasks, you're going to be in the running to win a supplied box of baits and terminal tackle and fishing equipment and things that you can give and, and take your son, daughter, aunt, uncle, grandma out onto the lake or out onto a local pond 
or just bank fish in your backyard if you have a stream going through and you know spend some time out and enjoy a little bit of summer fresh air and getting off the couch but uh, I hope to, uh, to definitely put that out and have somebody enjoy uh, you know some free gifts from me to you uh, just as a thank you because in my family it's always been your birthday is supposed to be about giving to others it is making your birth worthwhile it's not just celebrating you know it's not a me 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 uh, thing it's a uh, we are uh, you know a world kind of thing uh, but that's just my crazy family but uh, at any rate uh, I thank you for tuning in um, keep in touch like hit that bell notification subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family and hopefully we can grow because at 500 uh, I've got more giveaways. At a thousand, I got more giveaways, and periodically, I'll probably throw out some some giveaways. Uh, everything from you know gift cards, uh, you know, bait and tackle, anything you want, uh, cups, mugs, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I also have a Teespring uh, link that's on the it's on the banner of the of the page for this for this channel. So if you like and you're looking for some cheesy little T-shirts or some mugs or something like that, I got a couple things up. Uh, just toying around. No pressure. Uh, I'm not making any profit off of it. I got it like lowered down to just the cost of the actual item. So uh, and a little, I had to add it up a little bit because they changed the values. They added a couple of cents to uh, Teespring did. So I had to adjust them. But other than that, I get nothing out of it. It's just just a have. Because quite frankly, I I thought, hey, why not? <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed. Take care. God bless. Tight lines and uh, good luck. <laughs>